Good evening, Internet. And welcome to another Top Shift, as I'm going to call it from now on. I was going to do a Jeremy Clarkson impersonation, but it is that bad I don't think it would want anybody would want me to do it. Right, what I'm planning on doing tonight is um, a little bit of target practice, I think. The problem that we've got at the moment is that we've got so many people, over 10,000, maybe as much as 12,000 commanders all in five little systems. Which does mean there's a problem with the trading. The markets are behaving as they will, because if you buy a... Once you establish a, a really good trade route, everybody finds out about it. So they all start buying one product and take it to somewhere else where they flood the market and because the market is flooded the price goes down which is pretty good uh, modeling of economics I would have thought but the upshot of all this is is those four tons of gold which you took all the way to Dahan last time it doesn't get you as much as, as you hoped so, you're kind of stuffed. So, th what... Chan... What alternatives is there for an enterprising commander? Well, there's bounty hunting. Or there is what I'm going to do. Working for either the Federation... Or the Separatists. If you look about, you'll see these little white. There we are. Oh, you see those little white uh, dots? Those are cargo canisters, normally from people who have cr filled up and then crashed into the side. You can tell the amount of uh, newbies about by the amount of crashed canisters there are in the in the docking bay. So that's at least uh, a couple of people there who weren't paying attention. Now. At the moment we're in Dahan, and there's an awful lot of stuff here that we can look at. But one of the things in Dahan is a conflict zone of low intensity. So we are going to lock the destination and head there. Good old super cruise. Drive charging. Now at 1,170 light seconds away, it's going to take a little while to get there. Now if you look ahead, you'll actually see these orange lines across. That's actually showing the orbital path of uh, various bodies. We just passed one just then. And if you look carefully, uh, going from left to right in a diagonal, just passing at the top of the canopy now, there's another one. In fact, actually, can you see when you look up? Yeah, there you go. So he's sort of passing another one there. I'm at f full thrust in um, Super Cruise or Frame Shift. I don't think the community has decided exactly what to call it just at this moment in time. But we're working on it. Now I have an advantage over most commanders to start is I've now got two pulse lasers, as to most commanders are still stuck on just one. Uh, and as we have unfortunately discovered, the beam lasers at this moment in time are still broken. And yet yeah, this is the premium beta. I think the main difference between this and the latest alpha is that it's been souped up to be able to handle a lot more players. Like I said, um, there's supposed to be like 2,000, 3,000 alpha backers, and then on top of that there's another 10,000 beta backers, or premium beta backers, I do apologise. 
So you can imagine the load on just these five star systems is quite horrendous. The main problem you're going to have is when all those beta back, uh, premium beta guys, can start affording Lacons and Anacondas, because that will just make all the the trade just dry up. We were having that problem with the Alpha. Now if you look at the moment, I'm pushing 16 times the speed of light. Einstein must be turning in his grave. Uh, slow it down a bit. I think we're getting there, coming in a bit too fast. Now Crash was um, one of the other commanders who just streams quite a lot Crash. He was actually showing how you can slingshot around the, uh, around the planets. And this involves actually turning your engines off while in supercruise. Quite a frightening thing to do, I don't think I'm ready to do that just yet. Or if I am going to try it, I'm not going to actually record it. coming in too fast, so we're going to have to come round again. Oh, and an interdiction. Wonderful. What joys we've got today for an interdiction. Full power. Oh. Warning. Detecting hostile scan. Ah, right. It's just the feds. Yes, 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 yes. So, let's turn and face where I need to go. Now, if I was actually carrying some illegal goods, I'd be in trouble. Drive, drive. So, as my cargo hold is now empty. I have to choose a faction at this point. I could be the be the Federation or the Iranians. Is that right? So let's choose Iran. And let's go after some feds. Just for a laugh. And I'm up against a Cobra Mark III. Is that a good idea? Probably not. out there that are, that are cheering me on at the moment. They're faster than the Sidewinder, so... Yes. Was he actually shooting at me? Yeah, he is as well. 
do that. Oh, shields don't last long though. But you can see how much more of it is. Oh, he's sidestepping me. That's good. So that means that the other person who was shooting on him did get. So, but 500 credits per ship destroyed, and if you can manage to stay out of harm's way, Ooh, boom. Destroyed. you could end up with uh, amassing quite a fortune. I can see that I've got Commander Backer, an Arraine Defence Craft, and Commander Nazarene. Ooh, two Federal fighters have come in along with a Cobra. Oh, actually, something else as well. Federal Security and an Eagle. Federal fighters here, the big as supposed to be very vulnerable. Definitely should be hard to hit. But this one's got no shields, which is a good thing for me. Flipping over and boom. Target destroyed. So that's a quick five hundred points. After this one. And another five hundred pounds. I could get used to this. Now that cobra thing. Oh no. That eagle, is he firing on me? Or is he firing on someone else? Firing someone else, so let's take him out. 
Because he, to tell you the truth, I think is the bigger threat. This is the worst bit because it's always the worst, the last commander that gets the shot in, that gets the kill. Now did I get it? I don't think I did. It's all about. We have a Lakan. Oh, I'll be able to show you this. This is the Lakan Titan 9. An up close one. Looks like a very, very big squad beetle. You get to fly these if you've got tons and tons of cash. It costs about a million, pa uh, a million credits. So if I. She's a biggie. Oh, you can see she's got a lot of damage on her, and uh, she's not handling that well. So that's what this conflict zone is all about. We're defending a transport. I don't think we've got anything left here for the moment. So, let's have a quick look at our navigation area. And eight light seconds away is the high intensity combat zone. So, let's try a bit high intensity. Oh, hang on a sec. We've just had a Cobra warp in. And a few others. Right. Who got that one? Target 
target destroyed. Don't think I got that one. And you can see how difficult it is to survive when you are under attack by three or four different pilots. No, didn't get that one either. Right. So, in effectively, what is it, 15 minutes now? I've managed to make 5,000, no, all 4,000 credits. It's not bad. No. Of course, in order to frame shift or super cruise, you got to have everything put away. So. And it also means you're incredibly vulnerable. Especially when you have this frame shift inhibited by a factor of six. So does that mean it takes six times longer to charge up your drive? Yep. You bet. And in some cases, I've been involved in, uh, in interdictions where you're uh, as a factor of 24. So you've got no choice but to really slam either slam four pips into your engines and hope that your ship's faster than theirs. Or you have to stand and fight. Now in a piddling little sidewinder, if you're up against four cobras, chances are you ain't going to get away. Because although you can outmaneuver a cobra, there's no way you can outrun one. Sometimes, just going suicidally aggressive against them is your only hope. So we're gonna duck down here, because I think we're getting too close to those rings, but it turns out this conflict zone's close to the rings, so. If I can get a couple of kills in this one, I'll disappear back and rearm the ship and uh, go for another cargo run, I think. All this death and destruction, you need a nice chilling out cargo run, I think. Saw something explode. Oh, look! There's a there's a federal battleship. It's in a bad way. This time, I'll rebalance and go for the fez. Don't 
try and take on a lake on not this moment too. Take out the escorts instead. You can see my shields are well down, so I need to Now if I was that pilot, instead of trying to engage me, I would be running for that lake on to take on and take advantage of his guns. To protect me while I'm flying away. But the AI can't think of anything like that. Happen. Shields are slowly beginning to regenerate. And so is his. you don't get hit that is. It takes 16 seconds for your shields to regenerate, start to regenerate. Mm. Yeah, mine's almost, mine, almost there. Got him. That leak on, that I had trouble with earlier, it's beginning to look a bit dodgy. Shields try and build them up again before making another run. I can't tell whether someone else is having a go at him or not. Oh, someone got a hit. Oh, yeah, he's like still after me. So, I think it's about time the yeah. discretion better part of our it's not doing a brief symbol, let's be honest about it. That's the destination we want. hitting the impeccable or whatever that dreadnought is it just says federal dreadnought oh there's the leak on again right shields are low I wonder if we can sneak up and you probably only get about 500 credits for day for dealing with it, but still. 
Ooh. I think it's under is attacking at some other poor sidewinder. So got its shields offline. Can I get it before it gets me? Shifts online, isn't it? Oh no. Drive charging. Whoop. And that's the first time I've managed to kill a lake on. Fantastic. I got off quite lucky there. Ninety seven percent hull. That's not gonna be that expensive to to uh, sort out. But I think I've got enough here for a decent trade run and maybe a weapon upgrade. Assuming of course I make it back in time. Basically, it's uh, someone playing a game very much like the old Frontier, yet while also describing some very personal issues in his life. I would, have, I would advise you go look at it. I mean, I was actually there thinking, I don't remember playing Nomad X. I'm sure I would have heard of it, but of course it's a made-up thing for the uh, for the film he did. You do kind of wonder whether or not. This, these kind of games are going to take up far too much of your time. If you look around that planet, if I focus on the planet, you'll see a what looks like a um, faint yellow circle around it vertically. That is its um, mass in uh, mass lock in uh, indicator. I don't know whether or not you actually have to have the planet itself selected to see it.
Now, what really gets me at the moment, though, is... And I don't know whether or not they're going to implement this properly in the game. But I've just been involved in a battle with federal troops. I, had, I just took down several federal fighters. Yeah, but my local federal record is clean. Guess nobody reported my uh, my ship's ID. Well, one trick that you can do in order to save power is you can have things like that. When you set one weapon as a, the, the primary and one as the uh, secondary, so that means you can basically do and that doesn't affect your um, your power as much. I still prefer to have both pulse lasers chained if you like. But it's for, it's for if you want. With so many things in there, this game. Uh, classic of space design, the Coriolis space station. Oh. That's a long way off. Landing pad 14. Hmm. That's either at the very back or the very front. What was the show which? I suppose I better slow down, otherwise I'll splatter into the side of the station. Somebody shooting in the station. I think they were. Docking successful. Somebody is shooting in the station. Hide in the hangar. You should be safe. If you're allowed to stay there, that is. And that's where we'll leave it tonight. Thank you for watching.